So we're playing Race the Sun on the PlayStation 4. Uh, Race the Sun, well, you'll see what it's like. Uh, we played a game that has, it's, it's an indie game, and it's indie, I suppose the gameplay style is somewhat similar to when we played Motor Heat the first week we did this. It's quite pretty. Oh, right. Yeah, it's, it's prettier than that, but um, yeah, I'll show you it. So basically, you're on a solar it's a craft. Speed game. Yeah, it's a speed Skills. game. Oh, it's that one that, like, you, me, and James, like, the same. Yeah, that's right. Music's pretty cool, too. Yeah, it's like baby. So you've got to try and collect those blue bits and try not to die, basically. Oh, right. It's, uh, sounds easier than it actually is. Oh, it's going to be fairly easy and get harder to go on, I guess. That's it, that's how it works. It's like you've played games before. Mm. Here we go. I like Gears of War 4, where they got, uh, if you go on insane, it's just like, no, you're going to die within the first 10 seconds. Well, it's insane, isn't it? But the thing is, if you keep your hand, like if you're firing out, like blind firing out of cover, their hand stays there and they can kill you by shooting your hand. And they're pretty good at aiming. Right, so yellow ones are boosts. Oh, fuck! There you go. Level 6, start at 25. So yeah, fly along, baby. Yeah. Did you did I ever tell you about what uh we got from the William Shatner meetup? No, since then. Since oh mate. Since before you Susie, do you know where the photos are? Oh my god. Uh -huh. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do that. My thumbs. Uh -huh. I'm semi lucking that as well. Yeah. I'll be honest. Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, because basically, um, met William Shatner, and he had the most disappointed look in his face. Really? I don't think he had high hopes for me necessarily. What it was was that I, um, I think it was just made up in the event. To be honest. Oh. But uh, yeah, I just found that quite funny because it was like I'm sitting there like, yeah, and he's like. Mm. And I was like, that's the perfect way that people <laughs> tend to meet me. Yep. Like, most people might be just a bit disappointed, uh, but I was just like, yep, that's that's how people meet me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm surely amazing. I'm a stunning knockout, that's what it is, Kurt. Tell mm. me I'm beautiful. Hey, I'll tell you, you would be a perfect ass. I don't want to. Well, you should try it. Ask. No. It's crapping out blue. <laughs> right, region 2. Ah! Should have stayed on trajectory. Yeah. It's annoying. Race the sun. Hmm. Grab that. That's a jump. Uh... That's interesting. Sometimes you can take a side swipe from the from the edge if you just slightly graze it. It reduces yeah. your multiplier, but you don't die. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bye then. That was worth it. Hmm. Uh. Here we go. Good fun. Just, uh, you know, obviously it's a uh, one trick pony, realistically. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, a fun trick. Fun one trick pony. Fun trick pony. Fun trick pony. Drop me the yellow. Oh, it's a green. Okay. Whatever. I'll take that then. What's the yellow? Uh, yellow is a speed boost. This. Uh... Basically. Whoa, that was close. That would have been the enemy. Fuck. Get out of there. 
Good job! <laughs> Jesus. Right. Here we go. Uh, no, no, no. Movie things. Not fair. You're not allowed to move. <laughs> Mate. That was luck. Yeah. I'm not getting that. No! I didn't want to get that. <laughs> I sped into a wall. Good job. Got back up six. I did get it back up six. That's, that's what I did. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Cut. Burgeon, 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 burgeon. This is, this is easy enough. <laughs> well, not easy enough for me. No, but, but um, it's because I'm currently seem to be going through a gentle route, but it's about to get a lot fucking harder. Yeah. Down, 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 down. No. If you've got like a reaction time then. So it is it's not like I'm like that's good if you want to sit down and play it more like if you've got half hours to do something more amazing and easy. Yeah yeah. Yeah that's right. A jump. <laughs> See that? Oh! Unlock level 7! Fly into a world portal, briefly escape this world and visit another. You are right here in a year after one region. Gosh. Dude, I want to find this region thing now. Region portal. Dude. Dude. New gameplay mechanic. Dive into another region. Oh. oh. So smash your wing against the wall. I It is an indie game, dude. Yeah, no. <laughs> I want to find one of the Potoru. I can't see no Potoru. I wonder if they come later on. That'd be annoying. <laughs> they should not be a reward for playing well, they should just be given to me. <laughs> <laughs> Wants all of the things. Yeah. <laughs> and I just got a pack that gives me everything nice at the start. It's downloadable content, isn't it? Uh, not all the time. Some, some DLC is not season pass. Fuck! Could possibly be uh. slightly better than they are. But. But if, if you pay 40 bits for season pass, I think that should be. You're getting extra gameplay. So I'm not just like, oh, you're getting massive skins. Skins is the most bullshit thing because they cost them all of like, what, five minutes to make? Unless and they're like, a... £2.50, please. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, but what, what I mean is, like, if you pay like 40 quid for a season pass and they'd go, here's skins and maps. Like, we have to, I've paid 40 quid oh, for geez, this. Oh, jeez, what's going action. on? Have I hit another world? This is new, this music. Yeah. Uh, so, if you if you pay for the good stuff, you get the max skin, and if it's a story based game, you should get more story. Yeah, like <coughs> fuck. How the fuck do you know how to get through that? Um, Jesus Christ. Like, what? I, um. Like, it's e easier for me just to say, like, Gears of War 3, you've got, like, Spy and Shadow, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But, like, Judgment, I think it might have been a cheaper season pass, so it's, like, skins and map packs and that. Yeah. Which isn't that much, unless you, you paid half the price, so you're not that, you're not being mugged off that much. But, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure Gears of War 4, like, oh, you're getting maps and skins and like some other sort of I don't know you might might get it early or something if it's or whatever or sort of 
not quite sure. I have to have a look into it. But I'm, mm. anywhere I've looked, it doesn't say that you get any like extra story missions. Right. And I'm like, well, I've paid double the price for this. Yeah, for forty quid. This is what I think. Sometimes I don't understand. Is like value for money has to also go back to the consumer. Mm. Um, and this is where there's a lot of problems at the moment with the DLC not being done right. Because yeah. DLC, in, I don't have a problem in theory with DLC, but a lot of what it comes down to is um, what you're getting for your money. Yeah. And I think sometimes people forget that. As a consumer, you want a certain amount of value for your money. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that 40 quid for some skins and maps is not a lot like, no. for your money. When you've already paid like 42 quid for yeah. the game itself, and you've got, I mean, you've got a story, and I mean, for the, obvious uh, reasons, they're going to be selling those games at a profit, right? So they're making a profit on each of those games, and we know they're making quite a large profit on most of those games. Yeah. So, so it's not as if they need to recoup the costs by doing downloadable content. Mm. So. The fact that downloadable content always comes to a lot less than a full game. To charge a full game price for the DLC is ridiculous. Yeah. If you're if you're charging 40, 50 quid for DLC, you better be giving someone a second game. Yeah. Because that's otherwise, w w what's your argument? Oh well, it's really good DLC. Uh, you know, oh well, we gave him some extra skins. Skins means four, yeah. mate. Oh, so you mean I can play as a certain character, possibly someone that's been in it before. The I ones think. I hate in Gears of War was like two pound fifty for a gun skin. Oh yeah. You're like really? To reskin this gun took you all of five seconds, cost you about three quid, and I'm paying you two fifty, and I'm one out of everyone who's paying you <laughs> to make yeah. that skin. But they, uh, they do have sort of like a, I guess you could call it a loot box. So I think I can't think of that. Where you end up unlocking stuff. You can pay cash if you want, but you end up unlocking them. Uh, I think. This is no. every, every time you level up or something. Right. No, oh no, it's not. You get a certain amount of coins doing like horde or versus or whatever, and then you can purchase it with the coins. Right. Can you purchase everything with coins, or is there a certain le limit where well, you can only collect so many? The um, characters. I, I thought, oh, maybe it'd be like they've done three, and you'd end up unlocking them for completing it on insane or. Oh, so rather than completing stuff, stuff and getting rewards for that, you just have to buy them. With the, with uh, the game you, coin. You, well, not not that. You end up. You can only buy the boxes with the coin. But to get the characters, you need a certain amount of scrap, which is when you get like duplicate um, bounties and stuff. That you can do. You can destroy them, but you get like, but like some of them, you can get twenty scrap. I think some of them is like you get five. So it takes forever for you to get a decent character. I didn't work that out until. A bit afterwards, when I had used a lot of the things, and I was like, "Well, it doesn't bother me to use all this crap. I could have quite easily just got rid of all them and got another character." Yeah, but fair enough. I I got the uh, ultimate edition, so I got um, old man Marcus. I got <coughs> zombie Dom. Um, uh, but there's a few other things that I unlocked at the beginning. But it's more of a I don't feel like I've been rewarded for completing the game on hardcore. No. Too much is going behind the attempt to ah to justify DLC. Yeah. This doesn't have any DLC. Oh, what's mine? Oh, uh, pretty good. Gives me a first person. First person view. Yeah. That would be terrifying. Exactly. Imagine playing this in first person. That'd actually be a good idea. I like, just add it in. Yeah. Be like. <laughs> How are you brown your trousers? <laughs> but this you wore the brown pants today. Yeah. People say shit about, like, of, uh, with Overwatch and Blizzard, uh, like, allowing you to pay for loot boxes. Yeah. Like, you can pay... Oh, I'm not I'll sure just die it, there. It, it's not that much... Do you want to play, babe? Not that much money um, to buy a loot box, but you can buy them in bulk and pay, like, 15 or like, up to 32, I think it was. Like 32 quid or whatever, and you get like a massive lump of 
loot box. And of course, it's like the skins and like stamps and stuff like that. But that I'm not, I'm not. But if I wanted to do that, I'd pay for that because everything else, all the characters that they bring in, and all the extra maps, are free. Right. So really, if you're paying for the loot box, you're still getting something back over the time, like the time span of the game. Yeah. Because they've already given out a free character and a new map. Right. But then whilst doing that, uh, they've also done this free Halloween update, which is like the whole horde mode, Frankenstein's Revenge. Thing. Right. And they've not only have they recorded new voice lines for it, um, new skins. Like and do, like done a horde mode thing in a multi like a multiplayer only game sort of thing, but they didn't charge. So when they the do yep. when they do stuff like that, it seems like I'm fine paying just loot boxes because that money is going to go back to them. But then I'm still going to get something back at a later date. Sure. Because there's more characters that they want to bring in and stuff like that. And people shit on Blizzard for doing loot boxes. Oh, like Minecraft and stuff. It's like, yeah, but well, there's no such thing as DLC. There's no, there's no. Oh, you pay, you pay a season, pay for a season pass, and you get the map and all this other crap. But like, you get it anyway. So you could. All of the updates are free, basically. You just pay for the loot crate. Yeah. If you want. Yeah. Or you get one every time you um, never mm. lost. Yeah. That's an interesting way of looking at it. I don't really know a lot about Overwatch. I played it. I played it when it was on a free beta, but um, didn't even, buy it. Even then, they didn't have to do that because that was just a free weekend. The game was already out. Yeah, that's what I found odd is that they did. I think it was a good idea because mm. um, I certainly wouldn't have had any interest in it without playing it. Yeah. Um, but I played it. I found it interesting. I like the graphical style of it. Um, yeah. What's that at the moment? It's finding money if you buy all these things. Well, I thought I got it for my birthday. So. That's the only way. That's how I got that one. But. It's like, it's the fact that they've put effort in. I oh, know, it's like, it's like these multiplayer only. They've put effort to make every single character feel different. So, every every single character is unique. Some of them are only healers, some of them are only defense, some of them are offense. Yeah. And all that kind of stuff. Thanks. Uh, tanks and stuff like that, so it's like, they all feel different, so they all control this, like, oh. you use Hanzo, who's like the archer, Shit. you have to lead the shot, and he's got different abilities that other people would have. Yeah. And it's like, and that's 22 different characters they've got. Mm. So it's a lot of effort they've put into the game anyway, and that's, like, I know a lot of people Yeah, like but I don't like World of Warcraft, so it's a shit game. I don't like World of Warcraft, I've had, funny enough, I've had Pete and try and get me into that, and I was just like, I don't care for it, so I tried the, um, like before the game came out, the um, Overwatch beta, and then I was just like, I had fun immediately, and I just went, yeah, I'm going to get that. Yeah. No, it is a good game, good fun game. Especially I don't see it. the hype, personally, but I do like... Like the game is enjoyable. It's not one of those games where it's like, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. You play it and it's like, this is dog shit. Yeah. But it, it, yeah, it's that is a good game. But I, I know Pete. I've got friends who are literally obsessed by it. Mm. Um, I don't. I'm not obsessed with it at all. But a lot of those people, the same people that liked shit like uh, Team Fortress 2. <laughs> I never liked it. Um. I've had a few people try and get me into it and go, oh, Team Fortress 2 is an amazing game. And whenever I've played it, I'm like, this is just quite, like, it, what annoys me about online, only, like, multiplayer only first person shooters hmm. is that I suppose it could be a personal thing, but in my head, I just sort of look at it and go, so you, what you've done is you've given me a part of Goldeneye, yeah. but not the single player. Yeah. This, and like, and mul the multiplayer for Goldeneye was done in two weeks. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I know over watching that I've had a lot more effort and sort of time and balance put into them. But you sort of look at it and you're like, what am I getting for my money? And on a, a multiplayer first-person shooter, 
I've got one of them, I've got loads of them, and I've got loads that have that and the single player experience as well. And this doesn't. Yeah. Okay, oh it feels like a bit odd paying full whack for something that's only literally half a game. I, I do it on how much the game costs and how many hours I've put into the game. But I've heard it before where um, people say, like, it's, um, obviously, if you spend, like, say, I spent 40 quid on the game and then spent nine hours on a campaign and that was literally it, that's not worth it. Right. But if I, like, if I spent 40, 40 quid on the game and then spent 80 hours on the game, it's definitely worth it, no matter whether it's... You got your money's worth. Exactly. I, I already know that I've got over, like, 200 hours into Overwatch. Okay. So, to so me, you've definitely got your money's worth. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the things that I've played, like, what sort of brought me back into it is, like, I liked the game, and I'd go back and forth to it, but what made me go back to it a bit more was the fact that they'd done the Halloween thing. Right. And I, but I really enjoyed that. I was like... That's what was the Halloween... Thing. What, the uh, horse? Drunk, yeah, the Drunken yeah. Sign's Revenge. They came up with a different mode rather than just skins. Yeah, right. They just cut off part of one of the maps, but they oh! turned, they turned it all Halloween -y and stuff, and they actually like went into the effort to do like the new voice lines. And everything like sure. It sort of brought me back into it, and then I have done like quick, gone back to just basic quick play and stuff. Quick play. Yeah. So, uh... Cut. What? I'm flying! Congratulations! Trying my best. Games like Austin Battlefield is a bit different for me because it's still early and they won't come out bugging and shit. Yeah. But I've put some time into it at the minute. I don't know how much, but I'll put some time into it. But like, ooh. I, I got Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Yeah. I played the campaign, completed it. Don't know how long I completed it in, and I just went, eh, stopped playing it. I never went into multiplayer because it's just nothing different. And I think that's why people are more into Battlefield 1, because instead of going, oh look, they've done another futuristic warfare sort of thing where, oh, you're going into space and all that stuff. But fair enough, people are interested, uh, like that kind of thing. But, that their interest it's not something that i mm. want to carry on seeing yeah it's yeah the fact that they went back to like world war one yeah i think it was kind of an interesting twist because everyone was sort of call of duty led the way with uh advanced warfare yeah and uh modern every... warfare. yeah modern warfare sorry and uh everyone started getting the raging hard on for that sort of a game and everyone yeah. was like oh yeah it's got to be like you know top of range warfare but like they don't seem to have take like notice that people are getting a bit bored of it yeah, um, but I played Modern Warfare 2 and 3 and I've done like the multiplayer in both of them. But I, I like, once again, I spent enough time on it and it, oh. so it was just, I got my money's worth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mm. when when it's stuff like I got Advanced Warfare and I didn't bother with the multiplayer, it sort of shows you how the game is now. It's just sort of like, yeah, I don't care. The game is there. Yeah, yeah. Right, anybody want to go? No? No, I was going to say, I think it is run its course. I never got to the end of the course. No, but you should crash the wall. Look, <laughs> they're my walls, I paid Bro, for those walls. we can't drive. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I immediately crashed and I was completely crap at it. But... And you drive. Uh, yeah, this isn't exactly like driving a car phone, you know? It, it is. Quiet. Stop. Uh, I think I'd know. Well, because you don't drive Exactly, car. exactly. You've never driven a car? I have. Well, no, no, I actually have driven a car. Well, this isn't Yeah, about ten years ago in some driving lessons. Stop. Just just because I was rocking doesn't mean that... Uh-huh. Just because I... Rocking I'd... the car over the cliff. I literally <laughs> only require one or two lessons and I could pass that test. Yeah. But yeah. you did it. Did you pass it? No, I didn't go in for it. Not to do it. Yeah, I do, but I found driving easy. I find it boring, in fact, but... Oh, yeah, so I find it amazing when I'm driving to work and driving home. Well... The gym, <laughs> it's just something that I need yeah, to Yeah, I ran into my own bubbles. Good yeah, job. Sure. You proud of me, Kurt? Nope. Kurt!
There's locked modes, Kurt. Well, you can unlock them. Yes, playable Race the Sun credits. And I can configure my ship. Congratulations. Can you modify it? Oh, hang on, what? I can magnet. But grab pickups from a greater distance or jump storage. That would be useful. Badges for my left wing. Oh, you collect badges. 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 We don't need no stinking badges. Cut! What? Just wanted to end it on something. Oh, okay. Get off, get off my beard. <laughs>